Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Rhythm of Soul. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about sound. So this week in my Synoptic Gospels class with Dr. Angela Kim Harkins, we talked about how Western cultures and most of the dominant Western logic is oriented towards sight and less towards other senses. Other cultures outside of the dominant Western imaginary will think of things in terms of emotions or spirituals or different ways of interpreting knowledge that might encompass more of the embodiment and the perception that we were talking about last week. And so this week I'd invite us to think about how might different concepts, sound and taste and feel, how might those other ways of knowing be as valid as the dominant Western culture's way of understanding what constitutes academia, what constitutes intellect, what even constitutes knowledge. And so to model this, today I'm not gonna be playing live for you. I'm gonna take an excerpt of something that I did a couple years ago in the spring of 2021. I was at St. John's University in Minnesota playing with the CSB SJU Jazz Ensemble. And we were playing a tune called Freedom Day by Max Roach giving voice to the sound of freedom in the midst of the civil rights movement. It was a fitting tune for us to play at that particular time because we were in the midst of the pandemic and a moment of racial reckoning, which we still exist in today. A moment that Michael Eric Dyson calls that's characterized by the communal strangulation of breath. I feel that today and in listening back to a solo that I played on that tune, I think it gave voice to the textures and contours and sounds of what freedom might be like. So journey with me back in time, the spring of 2021, as we encounter Freedom Day by Max Roach. Thank you.